two modules for text to video. Pictory offers two ways to turn text into video. In the main dashboard screen, you will see four modules. The first two modules can be used to turn text to video. The first module, Script to Video, allows you to copy and paste text into Pictory. The second module, Blog to Video, allows you to use a web address. On the next screen, there exist two distinct workflows. However, upon completing your work on that screen, the two workflows converge and become the same. This enhances the seamless nature of the process and makes it easier to recall. Text to video screen once you are on the next screen and you have your text in the text area. It is now time to make adjustments. Each line of text will be a screen in your video. Pictory AI will read each line of text to figure out the context. Once the AI has completed the analysis of the line of text, it will search for relevant video footage. As much as possible, try to have complete sentence for each line. But if you can't, that's okay. You can always make adjustments later on. The AI will go through each line of text to understand the meaning. A text that is full of words that carry meaning by bringing images to your mind works best. Walk through in this example. I have written a script that is full of imagery that will make it easy for the AI to figure out what the screen should be about. As you look at each line, you will see a word or phase that the AI can use. I have laid out my script line by line. Each line is one screen. Let's say I wanted to create a five minute video with each screen having a duration of five seconds. How many lines of text would I need? Well, five minutes of video is equal to 300 seconds. If you want five seconds per screen, and 300 divided by five is equal to 60, you will need to edit your text into 60 lines. I do not recommend this for videos over one minute. If you were making a YouTube short that is one minute, I would recommend 12 to 15 screen changes. Commercials follow this format. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the screen where we have our script editor. And so what I'm doing here is I'm highlighting the text that I want to have emphasized. And then so I'll go line by line and look at each word or phrase in that particular line to see if that would be a good match as far as imagery or should we say the video footage that will be shown. So as I go through here, each line by line, it is basically taking a look here and see which words are going to match up best. So you want to go through this and just highlight the ones that you're looking for. And as you can see, as I go through, I select the phrase that I think is going to be best, or it could be even a longer part of the sentence. And then I click on the highlight button. So now once you have done that and you have all of your lines highlighted as far as the text that you want to emphasize for your scene, the next part then is to just go ahead and click on proceed. When you click on proceed, you will see that you have a choice of templates. I will choose 16 by nine and then click on continue. Now it will create the storyboard. And as you can see here, Pictory is going ahead now and creating the storyboard for the video. So it's taking all those lines of text and it's going through each one and it is picking video footage that would best match. So this is where the video is being pieced together. So now it is completed. And so as you can see here, we have our individual scenes. And as you can look at the scene here, there are images for each scene. You can see there's a total of 13 scenes inside of this video. We can take a look at each scene and individually make changes to it if necessary. Pictory did a pretty good job of selecting video footage. I want to make sure that each scene is around five seconds long or less to have the video under one minute. Now I'm going to select the audio section here. I'm going to take a look at voiceovers and pick a voice for this video. Click apply to apply the voice. I will go through and check each scene. I'm checking the time to see if it is around five seconds. As you can see, it did a pretty good job of making the lines around five seconds. Some are a little bit over, but that is okay. There are some scenes that I'm going to end up changing. I want to get this video below one minute. It's a little bit above that. I will speed through this right now. Okay, so that's completed. Let's go ahead and generate the video. So I'm going to click on video and generate. It will create the scenes first. And then once it's done creating the scenes, it will generate the video. And so now it's done creating the scenes and it will now generate the video. It will always give an estimate of how long it will take to generate the video. In this case, it says seven minutes. I'm not going to have you wait for seven minutes here. So I will speed up this process. Just to let you know, it normally does not take seven minutes for it to generate. The video has completed generating. 
I will now download the video and we can take a look at it. Now let's go ahead and play it and see how it turned out. House plants are a great way to add some natural beauty to your living space. But they do require a bit of care to thrive. Here are a few tips on how to take care of your house plants. First, make sure your plant is in a pot with good drainage. This will prevent the roots from sitting in water and becoming waterlogged. Which can lead to root rot. Next, find out what type of light your plant prefers. Some plants need bright, direct sunlight. While others do better in indirect or low light conditions. Place your plant in a location that suits its light requirements. Water your plant regularly, but don't overwater it. Most plants prefer to dry out a bit between waterings. Stick your finger into the soil to see if it feels dry before watering. I'm not sure what your opinion is, but in my view, it turned out really well. Here's an interesting feature. Suppose I want to change the aspect ratio of this 16 to 9 video to 916. It's very simple. I just need to select 916 in the format area and everything is automatically repositioned by Pictory. I could make additional adjustments, but everything looks good. Now, I'll make a small change by swapping out a video clip. Let me find something suitable there. That's it. See how easy it is? Once the footage is replaced, it's time to generate the video. All the editing is done, so I just need to click on Generate Video, and Pictory will create the scenes as before. This process is quite straightforward, as you can see. Pictory makes it very easy to make edits, and then at the same time make adjustments, and then also change the actual format of the video. And so now instead of creating a 16x9, I'm creating a 9x16. This is the right format that you would need for a YouTube short, and it being under one minute. When this video uploads with this format, YouTube is going to automatically see that as being a YouTube short video, and it will place it as a YouTube short and put it up into the short area for people to view. That's how easy it is to make adjustments to the format of the video. Now that it is done generating the video, let's see how it turned out. House plants are a great way to add some natural beauty to your living space. But they do require a bit of care to thrive. Here are a few tips on how to take care of your house plants. First, make sure your plant is in a pot with good drainage. This will prevent the roots from sitting in water and becoming waterlogged. Which can lead to root rot. Next, find out what type of light your plant prefers. Some plants need bright, direct sunlight. While others do better in indirect or low light conditions. Place your plant in a location that suits its light requirements. Water your plant regularly, but don't overwater it. Most plants prefer to dry out a bit between waterings. Stick your finger into the soil to see if it feels dry before watering. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. It was a pleasure sharing this with you. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, we have a collection on our channel. Just let us know if you have any suggestions for future topics, and we'll create more videos to meet your needs.